Hello, my friends and my fellow Harmonauts, and welcome to the Harmony Garage. I am Samuel Harrison, and I will be your mechanic today as you come in and get updates and tune-ups for what's going on in the Harmony ecosystem. Today, I am uh, joined by Sahil Devon. He is a co-founder of Harmony, and he leads product as well as many different things. Um, prior to joining the Harmony Project, he led the Blockchain Club at HBS, and he worked at the Draper Dragon Fund, investing in blockchain projects and crypto. Uh, Sahil, welcome to the garage. Thank you, Sam. I'm uh, glad to be your fellow mechanic today. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, you know, part of what's what's great about this experience is that we get to meet the core team a little bit more personally, a little bit more involved. We get to see their personality come out a little. Um, I mean, you saw the the interview that we had with Peter a couple of weeks ago, which was great. We had a developer call earlier, which also went over really well. Um, and so I just wanted to pause before we get into the updates and say, first off, thank you for all the work that you've been doing on this project. It's amazing. But also, what is it about blockchain, the potential of blockchain that you've seen, but you haven't quite realized yet? Like, what is something that you know this technology can do and you can't wait for it to become live? Well, I think, so there's a lot of things. The funny part, Sam, is when I heard about uh, this technology like six or seven years ago, specifically Bitcoin, I was like, this is not going to make it. This is not possible. And, you know, I, I at that time did uh, envision a world where one global currency, would, which would eliminate the borders, would be fantastic. But I think we're getting there with Bitcoin. So that's good. Yeah. So that's really I, not in the category of something that hasn't happened. I think that's bound to happen, hopefully. Yeah. But something that hasn't happened, and I wish for it to happen in the next five years, maybe, is around zero knowledge proofs and applications that drive it. Imagine mm -hmm. us contributing, uh, you know, uh, right now my phone has all my applications and all the data is with centralized gardens. Imagine, especially healthcare. Yeah. We talk about anti-aging. Can we get tremendous amount of data powered through blockchain with the right incentives to solve for so many of these human problems that we can't today because of how we're structured, how the world operates. So I think it's fascinating uh, to see. And uh, yeah, let's, let's hope that happens. I, I look forward to your future. That's a place that I definitely want to live. I think it'll be very interesting. Um, now, of course, we just want to do a really quick uh, update before I get into an AMA. I'm having an AMA with um, the CEO of Quid, which is going to be great. We're going to be talking about some NFTs. We're going to be talking about some of the collaboration that we've been working on. But I wanted to give a, an opportunity for the community to ask you a few questions just specifically about Harmony products. So obviously, one of the big ones, one of the things that, that the developers are constantly asking for is the Explorer. Um, our Explorer is working. Um, to put it mildly, but uh, they are asking for a new version, uh, one that has more features and more updates. Can you give us a heads up, a look under the hood, if you will, of this upcoming project? So uh, incidentally, this is the project that I'm most excited about over the past six to eight weeks. Uh, and hopefully, fingers crossed, in the next couple of weeks, uh, we'll launch the Explorer V2, as we call it internally. And I think the, the effort there is, you know, our first version of the Explorer was designed to make sure that, you know, assets and staking transactions and all the data related to these was visible, was transparent. And then in the last six months, we've seen this boom of DeFi and NFTs. Yeah. And people are used to EtherScan, right? So our moving target then became EtherScan. And we were like, hey, we're an Ethereum compatible chain. It is possible for us to present all the data that you see on Etherscan on our Explorer. It is possible to verify contracts that you're engaging with on the Explorer itself, just like you do on Etherscan. So right now, our current Explorer, of course, does not have very clear or has broken experiences around smart contract transactions, mm -hmm. transactions related to contract calls or internal contract transactions. You know, when you go to Etherscan and you add liquidity or you're using a yield aggregated like Wi-Fi, 
on that transaction page you see you know so, uh, how how the money is moving how these tokens are being moved across different protocols that's exactly what we'll see on our exposure as well so that's going to be amazing yeah. nft transactions are going to be there uh, so yeah i think we're we're getting ready and uh, we're probably one of the first few uh, layer one protocols which are ready, making our explorer ready for defi nfts and oh. you know the whole world of smart contract transactions That'll be very exciting. And I cannot pin you down on a release date, right? Like that's like software deployment and launch dates are not something that any developer, any product person wants to say. Yeah, this. I, I have one thing I've had at uh, Harmony is more uh, empathy for our engineers. So I don't want to be <laughs> announcing All right. until, until we're very sure. I, and uh, so, hope, but I would say in the next uh, 10 days to two weeks. Oh, that's exciting. See that, that knowledge I think is really great. And of course, you know, we won't hold you to it. We'll hold RJ to that. Uh, we'll hold his feet to the fire. <laughs> you should hold me to it. I uh, feel responsible for it. Sure. Uh, so can you tell me a little bit about um, there? Apparently there is uh, an issue upgrading Chromium. Are you are you aware of this? Can you tell me anything about if this is being resolved? So this already, there's been a patch already on the one. Okay. Basically the latest Chrome update broke a lot of these applications. And we saw that with Lev as well so we fixed it and uh, hopefully it should work also okay. and yeah. uh, metamask experience something similar so okay. in case anyone still has troubles you know where to find us go to the telegram group and you'll, you'll get a response from us uh, okay. immediately okay excellent good to hear um, another thing that people are interested in is they of course a lot of people really care about ma maintaining their own private keys off of a central device. And they use a variety of these various different um, devices that look like thumb drives effectively. Um, but this is, for example, the Ledger Nano X. Now, I don't believe Harmony is yet uh, compatible or, or you can store it on the Ledger X, but do you have any updates on this particular? Yeah, I think this has been uh, on our list for a while. So we, as you know, Ledger Nano S works uh, for storing Harmony and for all the transactions. Uh, for Nano X, it's a different firmware and we've already made the updates and we're just uh, uh, working together with the Ledger team to push that update out. Uh, hopefully it should be uh, no later, later than uh, about three to four weeks, but uh, something top of mind and glad that uh, you've uh, given us another notification or a reminder to uh, uh, prioritize this and really uh, push it out. So that's the only reason. Uh, there's no other technical reason left for us to push this out. Uh, so definitely uh, hope that within by July, we should have this. Excellent. Ready. Well, that's exciting. That's also, man, you're, you're just giving me nothing but presents here, Sahil. It's just like, <laughs> you know, little packages of joy after another. Um, now, here's a question that I know is sometimes really sensitive to talk about. Um, a lot of the community, a lot of people in crypto in general really care a lot about getting listed on exchanges. There's a black box around how that works. When is one exchange going to be listed? When are you going to be listed on a different one? Um, is there anything you can tell us about the exchange listing process that, that the community may not know that will help them understand why this isn't always just a, a stamped, signed, and ready deal from day one. Right, absolutely. I think what I can uh, share a light on is how this whole kind of process works and why this works the same, a certain way, right? Uh, at the end of the day, exchanges uh, take full responsibility, do entire due diligence on all the projects uh, before listing them. They want to make sure that the, these uh, tokens are according to their regulatory guidelines in those territories, wherever these uh, exchanges are going to list these tokens and make it available to the community. Uh, and second, uh, it's on the project's shoulder to have all the information openly available for not just exchanges, but community. So I think what we usually as projects do is all the information, starting from Block Explorer, showing exactly the supply of the tokens and all the documents that talk about uh, the architecture, the white paper, uh, the security, the uh, protocol design, all of that is made available mm -hmm. uh, openly. And you can find all of these documents available for Harmony yourself. And exchanges use these documents to have their own internal due diligence and review process. 
and figure out uh, based on whatever you know frameworks they use, and then list uh, these tokens once. There's also exchanges also think a lot about demand yeah. and is this project really uh, finding users, finding developers? Is being adopted? Uh, are people externally exchange, uh, engaging with this project? I think there's so many different lines which uh, the project just has to keep on building, and yeah. the exchange picks up these projects uh, by themselves. Usually, it does. It's it's not a process which happens in a couple of weeks. You know, yeah. this process takes anywhere between I would say three to six months mm -hmm. to get interested. And some exchanges nudge the project that hey, we need this information from you. We're considering listing you, and we then provide information. So that's yeah. how the whole flow goes. And uh, uh, you know, project is just can just wait and watch for the token to be listed on the exchange yeah. uh, eventually. Yeah. It's, it's such a difficult thing because each exchange, almost every single exchange is in a different jurisdiction. And so they'll end up having different regulatory requirements. Right. And on top of that, their backers and their risk profile, they'll also have different requirements that they have to match. And so when it gets down to it, the best that we can do is just keep building um, because those thresholds could be not necessarily moving targets, but we could be doing great on target one, two, and three, but target A, B, and C, we may need a little bit of work on. Right. So I guess the, the the message to the community is, hey, these things are, we are a very uh, popular chain. We have a popular token. Things are going very, very well for Harmony by and large. And all of the exchanges that you are looking at and you're curious about, they're probably also paying the same amount of attention as you are. Exactly. Exactly. So we, we only like ask more developers to keep on building more yes. on Harmony and, and more of you know, community to use these applications. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, hopefully, you know, our token should be available to everyone around the world listed on all the top exchanges. Excellent. Excellent. Um, so rapid fire really quickly. We only have a, a moment or two left before I, I want to hop into the AMA with Quid. Um, but can you give us just some general updates? You know, um, uh, the crazy ones was is doing great. What's the latest on the one names? Um, I know a lot of people are asking about uh, uh, bridges and bridge building. I don't know what the current status is there. And then also um, there is a question about uh, stable coins. I know we have some that are wrapped and bridged, but what's what's kind of any quick, really fast updates on any of those topics? Wow, that's the entire product roadmap, Sam. Thanks for asking <laughs> that question. I will okay, to... let's boil down your next nine months of work into three sentences. Yes, I will try and do it in 60 seconds. 60 seconds. <laughs> So I think the um, one names is the ENS. Uh, the application is already running on Harmony. We're just waiting to complete the integration of one wallet for mm. it to work. It's a Web3 application. It, yeah. MetaMask works. So as soon as that's done, it'll be out. User people can create their own names. So Sand one, which will be a pretty you know uh, more expensive than Sahil dot one. Yeah, yeah. And Sand and Sahil <laughs> send. Uh, any harmony assets to each other by just saying uh, typing sam.1 on the one wallet so that's cool okay. should be out, out in the next hopefully couple of weeks yeah uh bridges there's a lot happening there's existing bridge which is the ethereum and binance smart chain bridge uh we're uh, adding more features for nfts and bridging nfts from one chain to the other and then we have the bitcoin bridge uh, is in the works we finally have about five people spending time on it uh Timeline is TBD, but uh, I rest assured it's top of mind for uh, the bridge work stream. And uh, bridge, BDC Bridges has a lot of moving parts. It's different from mm -hmm. any Ethereum EVM chain bridge, right? So we have to do a lot of things from scratch from the BDC light client implementation, mm -hmm. uh, purely because it has to be super secure, like any other bridge. But here, uh, there's a full stack that you have to build. So uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we'll be able to share a, a more concrete timeline in, in a few weeks from now. And stable coins, where we already have bridge stable coins, but we're looking and we invite developers to come and build innovative stable coin models. I think there's some exciting stuff happening. Liquidity is doing a fantastic job with, you know, interest-free loans, which are, you know, which gave out uh, the liquidity stable coin. So if anyone has uh, exciting stable coin models they want to port over from Ethereum, which are battle tested, please reach out to me. No, that's exciting. That's really exciting. On that point, where can people reach out to you? Do you have a Twitter presence? Uh, do you want to give us your home phone number? 
what what is how do you want people to get a hold of you sure absolutely so people can definitely get in touch on twitter or uh email i'm sahil at harmony art one i think emails i'm old school so email i'm pretty fast in responding the fact uh, that you just said that your email is old school i i yes it 100 i love email that's where i live but nobody else is using email I know, anymore i know so email is right out there and then of course twitter dm me um, sahil divan uh, just my first name last name and you can find me i uh, would love to chat excellent well, that's great. Uh, any last parting words of wisdom, last things that you want to to promote uh, for this Harmony update? Yes, it's just fresh on our mind, Sam, from this morning. Uh, okay. We just started a, a weekly developer community call. We're opening up, you know, a, a community of developer captains for Harmony who are going to be the gatekeepers, shepherds, or whatever you call it, champions, evangelists for uh, newer developers to come uh, support, uh, you know, be a bridge between the core team and the developer community. So come join us. Uh, you can find more details on our discussion forum, which is talk.harmony.one. And yeah, I think that's the top of mind uh, thing I want everyone to be invited to. That's very exciting. That's very exciting. Yes, you can find us talk.harmony.one as well as on the Reddit, harmony underscore dev. Um, so go there, join, ask questions, answer questions, tell us funny jokes. I will remind you all that I do read the comments. So be kind to each other, but engage, have fun. All right, Sahil, thank you so much for your time. Um, I'm going to jump over to this other uh, AMA, and this was fantastic. I really appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks so much, Sam, for doing this. And uh, yeah, all the best for uh, AMA with Quinn. Thank you. 